in this topic we need to solve the polynomial equation to quadratic form like we need to reduce it to quadratic form now if you're thinking what's going on it's such a huge term how do we write in quadratic let me write the quadratic form first this is the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c now this doesn't look like square and x no but now i'll just tell you if i write x to the power 10 is equal to u what's going to happen x to the power 20 can be written as x to the power 10 into x to the power 10 and this is basically u into u that is u squared right so if i assume x to the power 10 as u i can write it as 4u squared plus 6u plus 15 now don't you think sorry for that bad crooked 15 uh don't you think now this is a quadratic form it is 4u squared plus 6u plus 15 it's a quadratic form now this is the thing but we we need to factor it out we need to reduce it as much as possible now we will see over here this one can be easily written as this how do we write it it's very simple now over here when you look at this first term okay there's one more thing since you have this in mcqs you will have four options this is in part one or part part two if any question comes you'll have four options right so easily you can expand them now let me just expand this over here it'll be four two squared is four x to the power 20 and three into two three into two is six that's plus six x to the power 10 plus 15. now this must match the given question yes it's the same thing this is the easiest way but how to solve it is also very easy first look into these powers yes i can reduce them as x to the power 10 okay but now if you look closely this can be written as 2 square 4 is 2 square so how about i write 2x to the power 10 the whole square plus now if i've written this a uh, this term as 2x power 10 i need to write 2 over here as well okay so now these two terms are same this is like x squared plus x but there's some coefficients behind coefficient behind this what is that six times two is three yes uh, sorry two times three is six because we need to have the six or you can just divide by six divided by two is three so we need to write three outside the bracket now these two terms must be same, plus 15 this constant doesn't matter so this is your answer now it's c basically x squared x and c sorry for my voice <clears throat> now that's the answer over here uh just remember when you square it over here you're gonna get the question now we will see one more problem now look at this problem carefully if you see closely it's x to the power six and x squared do you think you can reduce this as quadratic it's not possible if this was 3 yes I can write this as x to the power 3 the whole square or something this can be written but now no it's not possible because they are you know it's not uh, you, you know you can't write it in terms of square see this must be x squared so you must write x squared the whole square which is not possible in the previous one we wrote x power 10 and x power 10 the whole square right we can't reduce it so this cannot be written in quadratic form same way do uh see the do solve these questions by yourself and then check the answers and there's one more method which i told you initially to check the shortcut method all you need to do is solve this now for example negative 15 is outside x to the power 4 simplify this 18 over here x squared minus 4 yes this is correct it's the same as question now we are looking at this it's not possible very easy to say now what about this Let's write 4 outside. 2 squared is again 4 into 4. And x to the power 5 and 2, it will be 10. Plus 1 times 2 is 2. x to the power 5 plus 6. Now, when we simplify, this will be 16. Yes, that's the question. Now, over here, two, 3 squared is 9. x to the power 4 times 2 is 8. Minus 7 times 3 is 21. x power 4 plus 12 yes that's the same as question you can easily solve them up compare it with your questions you will easily get the answer now over here they have asked us to solve these 
how you can solve them is similarly just like what we had done a while ago but now there's, there's a special thing over here you can't directly solve them in calculator isn't it same step what we did just now this can be written as i will tell you one thing instead of x just take it as u sorry i'll write over here u is equal to x square okay so now u is x square so this is u square minus 3u minus 10 now this can be put in the calculator and solve because it's a quadratic form so all you're doing is over here you you just use the calculator now and simplify okay okay brilliant now we hear this is u square minus 3u minus 10 more phi 3 this is the quadratic form to solve quadratic form you have to just put the coefficients 1 minus 3 minus 10 same way you can do the same thing for other problems but only thing over here is you see this is the standard form equal zero must be in the other side everywhere is the same so you need to just put u is equal to x squared you can see everywhere it will work well work the same now what's the answer i got x is equal to x1 is equal to phi now what about the next one minus two but is this correct sorry i have to write u over here because i've assumed it as you uh, i've taken it as u sorry for that oh, i'm missing many things okay this is the thing now now what next look carefully your answer for this is true but u is not the answer u is equal to x squared isn't it so now over here you have substituted look over here you have substituted 1, minus 3 and minus 10. Okay, that's fine. This is minus 3. You can see up over here. So now, you need to substitute this as x squared equals 5. So now, what is the answer for x squared equals 5? x will be equal to plus or minus root 5. And what about over here, x squared equals negative 2. Whenever you have negative 2, it will be root of negative 2. 2 which is not possible you have an imaginary number so x is equal to negative 1 root and negative 2 so this will be plus or minus i so basically the answer is root 2 plus or minus root 2 i so this would be the answer the answers are 4 over here it will be you can see the answer over here it's plus or minus root 5 and plus or minus i root 2 or uh, to root 2i let me solve one more the same method let me take this for example now we here i can we always have to reduce it as much as possible now when i look over here i can see 9 is a perfect square so i can write 3x square so let me assume a, u to be 3x square so now can i simplify this yes you can write it as 3x squared sorry let me write it as u squared why because if i square this entire thing i'm gonna get 9x to the power 4 so this is equivalent to squaring it so looking at this it's a perfect square yes so i can write 3x okay now only thing is i have written in the quadratic form which we did in the last section now what is the next thing i need to write split this into 3x squared and so basically divide 27 by 3 you will get 9u how do you understand this it's very simple you have assumed 3x squared as u from this you have to just transfer the same thing over here but remember whatever the number is they divide 27 by that because we can write 9 into 3x squared now okay when you multiply this it's gonna be 27 x squared so that's why i've written it like this and then lastly we have 20 this is a constant it does not matter now more phi 3 substitute these values what is before u squared 
that's one minus nine then why because before you it's minus nine and lastly we are 20. what are the answers u is equal to phi and we have u is equal to four only two answers x1 and x2 u is phi and u is four so let me write it properly u is phi u is four sorry for that u is four over here and all you need to do is what is u you assumed u to be over here sorry i've already written a 3x squared right so now write 3x squared equals phi and simplify this i'll do it over here now it'll be x take this three to the other side it's going to be x squared equals phi by three now if you have to remove the square root square on both the sides so the answer will be root phi by three plus or minus is important and over here as well it will be three u three x squared equals 4 or x would be equal to square root 4 by 3 plus or minus over here because always when we have square root or even roots uh, we are even radical powers uh, even radical symbols it is always plus or minus so that would be the answer you can see it is okay now what they have done is they have just removed it that's fine but this is the same answer over here you can write this as you can simplify it now i will show you how it is done simplification one one of the easiest way to simplify is just go to mode one write root four divided by three and you will get the simplification okay so this is the thing or if i just change it to phi i'll also directly get it simplified now what happens is generally they don't write everything in cube root they uh, i mean they will try to remove common terms out so how they do over here is basically now this is phi so they multiply phi up and down so you're not doing anything it's multiplying phi up and down and this will be three squared which can be removed out or you can remove the cube root and over here up only cube root remains for 15 so that's the thing but if it's confusing don't worry all you need to do is from what we had got so yeah just go back whatever we got just substitute in the calculator you will get the answer but always remember there is plus or minus and since there is x to the power four there are four roots and whenever you get a negative sign there's no negative sign over here we didn't find any so it is just uh, plus or minus numbers wherever there was a negative sign inside square root whereas over here or over here you must write i outside so this is it Please try solving it by yourself and then check the answers.